The Doctor's in, Michael Parati joining you live from Red Bull Conquest with New York's own Chris G. How you doing today, man? I'm doing pretty good. Just waiting to play some games. Yeah, we do have pools coming up soon. And you're kind of special in the regard that you're one of the few multi-gamers that have pretty good results going on. Do you feel... What makes you... Sorry. How do you feel that um, not as many people can compete in the same regard? Well, I, I've been doing this for years now. So at this point, it's become like pretty easy. Before, I used to play like two games. But then I realized that like, why not just keep going, you know? So I, I understand that people either don't have the time or the patience or the discipline. But for me, I feel like a lot of aspects of certain games carry over to others, which is why I don't really play, like, 3D games, because that's a whole new, like, you know, genre to learn. And so you're historically an anime player. Right now, you've been doing very well in Dragon Ball. Um, that game kind of blew up. What do you think was part of the reason why everybody is picking it up now? Well, first of all, right, regardless of the fact that it's Dragon Ball Z, which is, I mean, at this point we can tell that, you know, that's why people play it for, uh, you know, a big reason. But it's pretty. It's a very pretty game. Explosions, you know, the level threes, the certain interactions. Um, yeah, I mean, like... Uh, well, and also another, another secret reason, but it's not so secret, is that people kind of want to play a versus game you know 3v3 with assists and whatnot um we know that people don't really play marvel 3 no more and marvel infinite well we don't need to talk about that so, <laughs> um, so the season one dragon ball uh fighter pass is finished up so we know the whole season one um very hard to believe that there's not going to be a season two now any character in the world of dragon ball even gt who do you want to see next Oh, I, I want the PyCon. Um, no more Gokus? Oh, definitely not Gokus. Um, but one thing that I wanted, and I'm actually surprised they didn't really mess with it more, is, I guess, future future Trunks? Future Trunks. All right. We've had people talking about future Gohan, too. So do you think we just need, like, a whole future set? Yeah. I mean, unless you're going to give Gohan one arm, you know, <laughs> but... Uh, no, I just wanted, like, updated Trunks, or maybe, like, an ability, you know, to turn, you know, into to Rage Saiyan. Uh, and, and it's funny that they still use his, his regular uh, Dragon Ball Z, uh, like, outlook, you know, because, I mean, he does have blue hair now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was, when I was watching Super, you know, the Spirit Sword, that thing was so cool. And then they just put it in as a dramatic finish. And it, I really want it to be an actual move, you know? No, and that would be super awesome, because... You know, like, when you see a character develop over the years, you kind of want, like, their best stuff. I mean, Goku is blue, right? You know, they have Vegeta blue. They even got Zamasu in the game. So it's actually pretty interesting that... It's just a dramatic thing. Yeah. Now, another thing that's kind of changed is you and, you know, Ricky, some of the EG holdouts that, you know, you're still sticking with them. And... You know, a lot of the people got picked up by Echo Fox, who is now seeming to scale back. Do you have any thoughts on that? Okay, not, not, not to go, like, too far into it, but, you know, EG is definitely an amazing company. They, they are treating me, like, perfectly. You know, I, got to, I get to do what, what, what I still want to do. Yeah, so I get to compete. You know, they, they pay for things, and that's it. Like, I just do my thing, right? I don't, I don't have to worry about winning so hard as for the other teams you know like i understand that people want more they always want more right that yeah exactly so as for players right if you feel like you've done you've done pretty good and then you know you're like all right let me see if i can squeeze a little bit more out of certain people out of certain companies and stuff a lot of times what you need to understand is that these companies these new teams these new organizations they're they're newish you know, so it's like for, for someone to trust them with pretty much like your life at this point, right? Because, yeah, because at any point, like, and you've been seeing it over the years, right? So many teams have just disbanded. So many teams, you know, like they promise you one thing, you actually don't get it, right? Or, you know, in Echo Fox's situation, you get a year or two con uh, contract and then you're done before six months. 
Yeah, and you know, there's a couple players out there who quickly found homes, which is good for them. Um, but it, it's rough out there. There's, there's a lot of teams and a lot of players looking for teams. Yeah, and and that's the thing. There's there's too many players, right? But at the same time, you know, I, I actually wrote about this like a while ago and stuff. I'm like, okay, you need to understand that just being a player is is like, yeah, well that. But you have to understand how to use social media. You have to understand how to do like the different aspects. So for all these players that are looking for teams. You know, you you got to understand it. You got to do a little bit more and just be able to play games. It's not just your placing. It's you know, it's a whole package. Yeah. All right. So final question: Capcom Cup or Dragon Ball Tour Finals? Which one would you rather go to? Oh, most most. It, it's weird because I don't necessarily like Street Fighter Five, but I understand you know the prestige behind it. Like everybody always wants to make Capcom Cup. I, I was actually in the first one for Street Fighter 4 mm -hmm. and you know there there isn't really a feeling like it I understand that you know world tour could be huge but at this point it's like you know Street Fighter 5 is still technically the main game and yeah exactly you know because it, it is what it is right like some people feel like they're forced to play the game and whatnot but uh you know, I understand that Dragon Ball Z is still like on the rise in a lot of tournaments. It kind of does get a little bit more viewership, um, but yeah, no, that that's Capcom Cup. You know, with the little confetti and all that stuff. Like, it it is still pretty big, and I feel like, yeah, why not? Why not? If I can make it one year. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, anybody you want to shout out? Anybody you want to thank? Yeah, shout outs, uh, EG. Shout outs to my fans. Everyone, you know, out trying to compete, out trying to make it, you know, just keep the grind up. All right. Thank you.